working long hours to please the boss. How do you leave your office every night in front of your workaholic boss without being considered a slacker? Sneak out, guiltily apologize and promise to check emails all night, or just walk straight toward the door in the most professional way you can. Many employees assume that their bosses evaluate the value of subordinates by the number of working hours in the office. And the trends at the workplace support this belief, according to a poll of 325 employees last fall by a talent and career management company in Milwaukee. Two thirds of workers are putting in much longer hours on the job than five years ago. However, there are also many other ways to project a hardworking image. If a manager talks about a project. In an intense and focused way, you can respond actively with similar intensity, acknowledge its importance, and repeat the deadline. And, of course, be prepared to work long hours during a crisis or a busy season, or when a major project's deadline is looming. In some cases, shifting work hours can help with forming a hardworking image. At companies where managers focus on FaceTime, employees who work from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. are more likely to get noticed than those who work from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Executive coach Michael Melcher was informed in his investment bank job that he wasn't working long enough hours, so he started coming in later and staying later. After a couple of months, his boss commented. It hasn't gone unnoticed that you're putting in additional hours. Many hardworking employees have had an even harder working boss who toils late into the night. Under this situation, the first priority would be conveying to your boss that you are still working hard and good at your job. That requires communicating clearly and frequently about your progress and results. Ideally. Figure out what the boss really needs and deliver it consistently enough. Then the working hour becomes a non-issue. Therefore, healthy and constructive communication is the key. In some professions, working long hours is unavoidable. In addition, some companies have unwritten cultural rules, such as nobody leaves the office before the boss leaves. It is wise to take some time to prove yourself on the job before exploring shorter hours. You might be stepping into a minefield if you don't understand the ins and outs of the organization. In most Asian countries, subordinates never leave the office before their boss at the end of the day. Walking out of the office in front of the boss indicates that you are not as busy as other colleagues. As an Asian American, I truly understand that this is a part of Asian working culture. However, the wrong perception of "the longer working hours, the more valuable" will hardly be corrected in the minds of Asian bosses.